big one today, <laughs> special edition. We are outrunning the Sandstone Trail. And we're off. This is where we left off last week. We're just coming down the hill uh, and we're going to turn left. We're what, between Willington and Upkington. So to our right is Willington Hall. Maybe you stayed there last night. Straight on is Rock Farm. Perhaps you stayed there. Or perhaps you're doing it the whole thing like I'm doing. Or perhaps you're doing it in bits and you're parking, in which case the parking is up here on the left. Uh, there, as always, there's a map route and information about places to stay on my website and um, just note that I'm what 12 12 and a half miles in at this point so when I talk about how far I'm in just take that into account welcome back to all my existing subscribers hope you love this if you're new welcome please consider clicking the subscribe button there are new routes every week and you don't want to miss the final camp part of this Okay, sit back and relax now and enjoy the ride. Oh yeah, we're about 12 and a half miles in now. So we've passed through the forest, dropped down to Willington and are now heading across the fields to Tarpley. I just, but look at the view. Um, Beeston Castle behind me, which is where we're heading next. Can you see? Uh, I can never tell. Uh, it is just stunning today. Perfect day for a for a walking here. Uh, this section here in the winter gets muddy, <laughs> uh, but today, perfect. Hard packed, dry. All right. I'm just having another little walk break. Feeling pretty good so far. Uh, which you expect because that's this is an easy distance for me so far. Uh, but no, I'm quite positive we'll get through this today without any problems. Just gotta keep drinking.
if you're ready for a break at this point. If you turn left ahead, uh, you'll go, brings you into Tarpley. Lots of nice places to stop in Tarpley to eat and drink. And to stay as well. But we're going to carry on to our right. down Pudding Lane ahead <laughs> and if you're wondering why it's called Pudding Lane there is a funny story about it apparently a large pudding was always made for the local fair and the local farmer at Tiverton Hall uh, had noticed a large amount of milk gone missing <laughs> and so he searched all the cottages and found the milk hidden down here somewhere and so it was then became called Pudding Lane. then we're uh, getting close to uh, Beeston Castle now just coming up on 17 miles so halfway and become the run walk adventurer today <laughs> legs are starting to get tired I think I'm just in a bit of a you get highs and lows on these long ones don't you and uh, still got loads of energy but uh, the legs are starting to hurt. Anyway, 
you don't want to look at my face what you really want to look at now is the view how's that for a view so i'm going to head up to the castle and then i might take a little break just to recharge the battery a bit uh, and uh, yeah, and then carry on. It's, uh, I don't think I'm going to go up the castle today because I need to keep moving to get through to Whitchurch. I've already done a couple of circular walks along the sandstone trail, but there are loads more. So I'll come back because, you know, not everyone wants to go the whole length of the sandstone trail. <laughs> uh, so I'll come back and do some more circular routes and I'll include going up uh, Beeston Castle then. Right, I must press on. Ahead we've got Beeston Castle, built in about 1220 something. <laughs> uh, well worth a visit. I couldn't have gone up today anyway. It, uh, it's by, because of Covid, it's by time ticket only. So if you want to go up, and I, I would recommend it, make sure you book in advance. Uh, perhaps you'll find King Richard's gold. Apparently, before travelling to Ireland, he hid some treasure here. They've searched the caves, they've searched the well, they've searched all over and they've not found it. But perhaps you'll find it today. I'm going to stop here. So there's a little cafe here. Well worth breaking you here for a little rest.
striking view of Peckforton Castle straight ahead. Uh, unlike Eastern Castle, Peckforton Castle is is a Victorian castle. It's it's what <laughs> what we imagined castles should look like. Uh, it looks it's really beautiful actually. Um, I believe these days they hold functions there, weddings and things. So one thing of a nicer place. <laughs> Up ahead we're going to turn left up a nice steep hill. It's a beautiful view at the top, but allow me to put temptation in your way. If you go straight on, you can reach the Pheasant Inn, uh, which also has a fantastic view.
we've arrived at Bukley, Bukley Hill. So we're going to take a left up the hill. It's a good old climb, but it's well worth it. There's a great view of the Cheshire Plain from the top. And then from there, we're going to cross over the other side over to Rawhead. <laughs> 